According to the Ampere's law, the line integral of the magnetic field around any closed loop is mu naught times the net current enclosed by that loop. Mathematically, we can write closed integral V dot dl is equal mu naught i, where i is the current enclosed by the loop, dl is a segment of that loop, and d magnetic field is around that closed loop. Like Gauss's law, Ampere's law is used for symmetric cases. In Gauss's law, electric flux is calculated over a Gaussian surface. But in Ampere's law, the magnetic field is summed up over a closed path, which is also called Amperian loop. Mathematically, the Gauss's law is closed integral E dot ds is equal q or epsilon naught. And uh, mathematically, the Ampere law is closed integral b dot dl is equal mu naught i. Please remember, in the case of Gauss's law, the closed integral is a closed surface integral. And in the case of Ampere's law, the closed integral is a closed path integral. Now to find the expression for the magnetic induction at any point due to a long straight wire, let's have a look at this figure. Where Consider a very long straight wire carrying current I, and uh, the magnetic field is produced along this wire in the form of circle. And uh, this circle is in the plane perpendicular to the length of the wire. Direction of the magnetic field in this case can be found can be found by right hand rule, where the thumb is showing the direction of the current and the fingers peeping around the wire are showing the direction of magnetic field. So in the case at point P where we wanna find the magnetic induction, at that point magnetic field is tangential to the loop. And at point P, DL, a small segment is also tangential to the loop. So both magnetic field and DL are parallel to each other. So now by using the left hand side of equation one, we can say closed integral B dot DL is equal closed integral B DL, B DL cos of zero degree. And that's the angle between B and DL at this case. So cos of zero tends to one, so because magnetic field is uniform at each point on the field line, so we keep that outside of the integral. And the closed integral of DL means the integral of element which will form the whole circle of the circumference. And that is equal to two by R. So now equating equation one with equation two, we get B is equal mu naught i over 2 pi r. It, it shows the, that the magnetic field at a distance r from a long straight wire carrying the current i. So that's all for the today's lecture. Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about magnetic field due to solenoid. A solenoid is a long cylindrical coil of wire that consists of a large number of turns bound together very tightly. When current is passing through it, it behaves like a bar magnet. One end of it behaves like a north pole and the other end behaves like a south pole. Now to find the magnetic field inside and outside of the solenoid, we apply Ampere's law. And that is closed path integral B dot DL is equal mu naught I. Now to find the magnetic field inside and outside, we suppose a rectangular Imperial loop that has four sides, L1, L2, L3, and L4. Now by applying the Ampere's law to each and every side, we get closed path integral from A up to B, B dot DL is plus closed path integral B up to C, B dot DL plus closed path in integral C up to D, B dot DL plus closed path integral D e up to A, B dot DL is equal mu naught I enclosed. The side AB having length L1 is parallel to the uniform magnetic field. So we get BL cos of uh, zero degree. 
and uh, that we can write like BDL1 cos of zero degree for side AB. The side uh, BC having length L2 and similarly the side uh, uh, DA having length L4, both are perpendicular to the magnetic field. Hence both contribute nothing uh, to the magnetic field of the solenoid because there is 90 degree of angle between magnetic field and the length segments. So the second part become BDL2 cause of 90 degree and the fourth BDL4 cause of 90 degree. The third part where the CD having length L3 is at 180 degree to the magnetic field. But outside of the solenoid, the magnetic field is negligibly small. So we simply put uh, B is equal to zero for the third part. By doing this, we found that second, third, and fourth, all of these three parts contributing nothing to the magnetic field of the solenoid. So only contribution comes from the first part, and that is BDL1 cos of zero degree. Because cos of zero degree is one, so we can write it like BL1 is equal mu naught I enclosed. Now, because there are n turns per length of the solenoid, and each turn is carrying some current, and that is I, hence the total current enclosed by this complete Amperian loop will become NLI. So simply we put here mu naught NLI. So this length L will cancel out with this length L because both have same magnitude. So finally we get B is equal to mu naught N I enclosed. And this is the magnetic field inside of the solenoid. That's all for the today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends. In this lecture, we will discuss about magnetic field due to toroid. Toroid is shaped like a solenoid but that is uh, bent into a circular shape. It has uh, n turns uh, density and current is uh, passing through it. Now to find the magnetic field at uh, point P at a distance R from the center, we apply Ampere's law and that is closed integral B dot DL is equal mu naught I enclosed. Now, by taking the Ampere loop that is passing through that point P, in a circle form and this Imperial loop is along the magnetic field inside of the toroid. Hence, this means there is a zero degree angle between the magnetic field and the loop. So by taking the Ampere's law, we can write B dot DL as BDL cause of zero degree because there is zero degree angle between the magnetic field and the small segment of the loop. Because we are talking about the whole loop, so we, by taking the integral of uh, the DL, we will take the circumference of the whole circle, and that is 2 pi r. So by replacing uh, the left side by B and magnetic field B into 2 pi r is equal mu naught capital N I enclosed. What is capital N? That is the total number of turns enclosed by this Imperial loop. Because the current enclosed by this Imperian loop is equal to the total number of loops times the current passing in each loop in only one direction. Hence, uh, we have written this n here, and uh, the whole equation is now b into 2 pi r is equal mu naught n i enclosed, which can further be written as magnetic field b is equal mu naught n i over 2 pi r. So this is the magnetic field at a distance r from this center up to this point p. Now to find the magnetic field at a distance uh, r prime from this center o, we take uh, and we apply the magnetic uh, Ampere's law again. That is closed integral b dot d is equal mu naught i. But if you focus on this uh, Imperial loop which is passing through this point P now, you can see that uh, this Imperial loop is enclosed all of the coil loops and the net current is uh, zero because the current goes into the P 
page is cancelled out by the current coming out of the page in each and every coil loop. Let's uh, have a look at uh, half of the wire loops. The wires are coming uh, out and going in, hence uh, the net current is uh, cancel out uh, in each and every loop and finally you get the whole current is uh, zero for this case so that is the reason we have the right hand side goes to zero so it means magnetic field is zero at a distance r prime from the center uh, outside of the toroid now to find the magnetic field inside at this point P. So for this, let's draw the Amperian loop of radius uh, R, this R. Now question is how much current is enclosing by this Amperian loop? The answer is there is no current wire enclosed by this Amperian loop, hence current is zero. So this means when current is zero, magnetic field is uh, zero. That's all for the today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Hello dear students. In this lecture, we will find magnetic field inside and outside of a long cylindrical conductor having radius R and current I is passing through it. Please note that the current is uniformly distributed over the cross-sectional area of this conductor. Now to find the magnetic field inside and outside of this conductor, we apply Ampere's law and that is closed integral B dot DL is equal mu naught I. Now first to find the magnetic field inside of this conductor, we draw Amperian loop of radius R and this R is less than this capital R, which is nothing but the radius of this conductor. because the magnetic field at each and every point of this Amperian loop is in circular form and uh, also in the same direction of each small element dl. So there is zero degree angle between this magnetic field and small element dl. Hence we can write b dot dl left hand side of this equation is like b dl cos of zero degree cos of zero degree tends to one. So we get B dl. By taking the closed integral of dl, we get circumference of this Amperian loop and that is two pi r. We keep the magnetic field outside of this integral because magnetic field is uniform at each point on this Amperian loop. So finally we get B into two pi r. This is our equation number one. Now, we concentrate on the right hand side of this equation. First, the total current enclosed by this uh, cylinder that is nothing but uh, total current divided by pi r square, which is the cross sectional area of this conductor. Now, because we are interested to find the total current passing through only this Amperian loop. So we can write I over pi r square multiply pi r square. Hence, this is the total current enclosed by loop circle R. Now, equating equation one and two, we get B into two pi r is equal mu naught I over pi r square into pi r square, which can be written as magnetic field B is equal mu naught I over two pi into R over R square where you can see magnetic field is directly proportional to the distance r. Now to find the magnetic field outside of this conductor, we draw an Amperian loop of radius r, which is greater than the radius of the conductor. Because the magnetic field at each and every point of this Amperian loop is in circular form and in the same direction of each small element dl. Hence, we can take uh, the closed integral of dl again, which is nothing but the circumference of this outside Amperian loop, and that is two pi r. Because magnetic field is uniform, so we keep the magnetic field outside of this integral. So finally, we get b is equal to mu naught i over two pi r. Because this Amperian loop is enclosing the whole current which is passing through this cylinder, so we have here the whole current i. So finally, 
we can write b is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r. That's all for the today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. I request you to please share this lecture with your friends.